Let us start with leishmaniasis. At least 10 to 12 PYQs have been asked in the previous years from leishmaniasis. And I am going to take the help of this story to first make you uh, remember all the important facts. Then we will quickly take a table and revise everything. So, in the first 3 minutes now we are going to hear a story. So, when I am talking about leishmaniasis, it is caused by leishmania donovani. Okay, so donovani. So, it, when I tell donovani, I have a don here. So, I am talking here about a don. This don, what is he doing? This don is in a desert. So, why am I telling he is in a desert? Desert is filled with sand. So, his uh, vehicle is going to be a sand fly. So, what is a vehicle? Vehicle is nothing but a vector. So, this Leshmania Donovani is a don who is using sand fly as his vehicle which is vector. Now, a don what does he want to do? He wants to accumulate wealth from all villages or all places. So, what is he going to do? He is going to go and affect the adjacent village people. He is going to go and uh, inject them. Okay. So, once the sand fly injects them what is going to happen? This dawn is going to enter into the body. Now, once before entering into the body which form does he form? So, infective form that is going to be a pro-mastigote form. Okay. So, if you have to be um, successful in anything, you have to become a pro. So, Don understands this. That's why he's a pro and he infects in the pro mastigot form. Once he does this, what is he going to do? He is going to enter into big, big organs. There are two possibilities. Either he can go viscerally and enter big, big organs or he can cause small cutaneous problems. So, because he's a Don, he prefers doing visceral problems in big, big organs. So, which are these visceral organs that he is going to affect? He is going to affect the liver. He is going to affect the bone marrow. He is going to affect the spleen. Okay. So, these are the organs that he is going to affect. Now, what is going to happen is, once he is injected inside, I told you he will go to all these organs. In the organs, what is he going to do? He is not just going to be there. He is going to, can you see, he is entering into the liver and he is entering into the cells of the liver. Which cells? It enters macrophage cells. Okay. So, the pro form has come and it has entered the macrophages. Now, macrophages in the liver, do you remember its name? What was its name? Kupfer cells. Okay. So, this Kupfer cell is where it is going to locate itself in the liver and once it enters the cell, then what is it going to become? pro is going to become a mastigot. Okay, remember this. So, the intracellular form is always a mastigot. The question is intracellular form is a mastigot. Okay, so the pro will become a mastigot. So, here you can see it becomes a mastigot because why should it once inside the cell, it, not, it need not be pro, it can become a mastigot. So, it will become a mastigot. Now, next what is going to happen is this a mastigot form is known is called as LD body or Leishmania donovaniasis body. Okay. Now, in the next slide, I will be showing you the images and everything. We are still in the story. So, he has entered into the cell and he is proliferating there. Now, what happens? The villagers take help from whom? There are no police people there. So, they are taking help from these doctors. So, what are these doctors? One doctor is Dr. Napier and another doctor is Dr. Chopra. Okay, so these are the two doctors that you can remember. Now, what is happening is, first when they are drawing the blood, they are noticing that the blood is thick. Okay, so this blood is thick and they are wondering why this blood is thick and they are going to do two tests to see that. So, the first test is going to be the Napier's aldehyde test and Chopra's antimony test. What is this Napier's aldehyde test and Chopra's antimony test? These are two tests which is going to detect increased immunoglobulin, okay, increased immunoglobulin or hypergamma globulinemia. So, you understood these two doctors were doing the test. But still they are thinking, okay, this, I know that immunoglobulin is increased, but I don't know what exactly it is because of. Then what they do? They do this test called as Montenegro test. So, see the test name is Montenegro, okay. So, Montenegro test here, what is there? NEG. So, NEG is going to be there here. So, that means what? It is going to give a negative result because cell mediated immunity is not there. This is going to give a negative result, Montenegro test. This is what I want you to remember. Now, next what is going to happen? Next, uh, you have done the aldehyde and antimony test and both actually these are, you know, historical importance only. These are not repeated now. Then you do Montenegro test that is also negative. 
Next, you have to take the sample so that you can demonstrate LD body. So, what are the organs that I told you these are going to reside in? I told you that this is going to be there in the liver, in the spleen, in the bone marrow. So, first you try to do a liver biopsy but then it's very vascular. It's very sensitive but it's very vascular so there can be bleeding. So, you're not going to do liver biopsy. You're going to do bone marrow biopsy which is the most used test. Okay. So, you do the bone marrow biopsy and you are going to demonstrate the amastigot form or the LD body. Okay. Now, then also you are not convinced you want to do a culture and confirm. Those doctors want to do a culture and confirm. So, these are, I told you these is a dawn. So, add just two N to it. So, the culture media is triple N media. Okay. So, remember only in the culture because the... Um, uh, form has this Lishmania Donovani has come out. Now the Dawn is will show his true true colors in culture media. That is what the Dawn is going to show his true color, which is going to be promastigot. So the infective form is going to be promastigot and the culture form is going to be promastigot. Simple. Now finally coming to how do you treat it? Very, very important question. So how do you treat it? it is by giving amphotericin B. Okay, so this is the drug of choice for leishmaniasis. It's a severe disease, so you are going to give leishmaniasis. So this much is about visceral uh, leishmaniasis. So did you understand the story? I hope you understood and you'll be able to remember the vector and the organism. Now let us quickly go and finish off this table so that we will complete this topic. So leishmaniasis, what is the other name for it? It's called Kala Azar or visual leishmaniasis. So first thing is in your PYQ, first PYQ is they will mention that the patient is from Bihar. That's the clue you're going to get. So first word will be Bihar. After that, they will mention all the words. So they will ask you the other name of leishmaniasis, which is going to be Kala Azar. Kala Azar is basically visceral leishmaniasis. We'll talk about cutaneous leishmaniasis. What is a causative agent? Causative agent, you know, it is Lishmania donovani, isn't it? What is the vector? The dawn was in the desert, which has sand, so sand fly. We remember. Now, this is the PYQ number 2. Okay, so they will give you this image and they will ask you to identify the vector. So, this vector is going to be sand fly. This is PYQ number 2. Next is you want to know what is the site of infection. So, what is the site of infection going to be? Site of infection, we discussed that. This is going to go inside. The organism is going to go inside and is going to affect the liver, spleen and bone marrow. So, what are the features that you are going to develop? You are going to develop features like hepatosplenomegaly. See here, the liver is going to be enlarged. The spleen is going to be enlarged which is going to lead to this protuberant ab abdomen. Okay, So, this is one feature of visual uh, leishmaniasis. Apart from which there will be darker pigmentation. That's why it's known as black fever or kalahazar also. And you think spleen is increasing in size. So what is going to happen? The blood count is going to reduce. So the patient is going to have anemia and pancytopenia. So this is going to be the clinical feature. Okay. Now what is the parasite form in humans? You know in intracellular. That is the parasite form in humans. What was it? We discussed that once it enters into the macrophages. Into the liver kupfer cells, it is going to be LD body. So, this is very important. Third PYQ that has come is the LD body is which form? LD body is a mastigot form, okay, because it is intracellular. Very, very important for you to remember that LD body is going to be a mastigot, okay. Now, next important question that is also a PYQ is they will give you this image. I think this is the most important, most uh, repeated image of this gentleman having these uh, hypopigmented patches. So, what is this? This is known as post kala azar dermal leishmaniasis. Why are you going to see this? You are going to see hypopigmented pa patches in patients who are treated already with amphotericin B. So, again, you will have this history from Bihar was treated with a patient with this patient is from Bihar had recurrent fever in childhood was treated with something and developed this hypopigmented patches so what is it okay so you understood the three and four questions that will come from this slide now most repeated image from leishmaniasis is this so what is this you are going this is a macrophage that is a big cell you are seeing is the macrophage inside you are seeing two smaller structures one is called as a nucleus the other one is the kinetoplast okay so these are parts of nothing but your a mastigot. So, that is what you are able to see in the leishmaniasis here. Okay. So, this is a LD body picture. So, this is the next question that comes most frequently. So, most preferred where will you do? You will do bone marrow. Apart from it, spleen is most sensitive uh, structure but you do not do it because there can be risk of bleeding. Spleen biopsy. It can be demonstrated in blood smear also. We remember we spoke about Montenegro test. Negro test is going to be negative test because of suppressed cell mediated immunity. 
हाइपर गामा ग्लोबल नी में रिमेंबर द टू ओल्ड डॉक्टर्स नेपियर्स एंड चोपरास कल्चर व्हाट वाज द थिंग कल्चर वी वर यूजिंग ट्रिपल एन डॉन एंडेड विथ एन सो वी एडेड टू मोर एन एंड ट्रिपल एन मीडिया एंड व्हाट फॉर्म वाज इट शोइंग प्रोमास्टिकोड वेरी गुड नाउ दिस इज द अदर डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर व्हिच इज आर के 39 लाइक एके 47 यू नो दिस फेलो वाज हैविंग लॉट ऑफ गन्स डू यू रिमेंबर सो दैट वाज लाइक एके 47 सो इंस्टेड यू कैन रिमेंबर आर के 39 Apart from it, you can remember PCR also and very important PYQ. They will ask you what is the drug of choice. Do not write sodium stevoglucosinate. It is amphotericin B. Sodium stevoglucosinate is not used in in uh, if just in case amphotericin B is not there, then you use sodium stevoglucosinate. But drug of choice is going to be amphotericin B. And treatment of post uh, Kala Azar dermatitis or dermal leishmaniasis is going to be miltefosin. Okay, so this is what you have to know about leishmaniasis. It has come every single year. Definitive question from these two tables will come. Okay, now uh, dermal uh, leishmaniasis. So I told you in the beginning only leishmaniasis can be either cutaneous or it can be visceral. We just finished visceral. We are going to do cutaneous leishmaniasis. First is leishmania brasiliensis, which is known as espondia or mucocutaneous leishmaniasis. So these two are not images of that. So this is not seen in India. So unlikely you are going to get a question about espondia or uh, mucocutaneous leishmaniasis. These two are from India. Okay. So leishmania tropica, especially it is known as Delhi boil or Oriental sore, and it is going to be like this. It is going to be a cutaneous ulcer, which is going to be self healing. So Delhi boil or Oriental sore caused by leishmania tropica in tropical region. Same leishmania tropica is going to cause something called as recidivance. So when does this happen? Is generally if there is incomplete treatment or poor response to treatment in the central you will see healing but in the periphery you see active lesion so this is recidivance okay so this is leishmania recidivance and leishmania uh, tropica so this completes about leishmaniasis definitely one or two questions in all of your exams are going to come so be thorough with this topic